All right, guys, so I just parked. I'm waiting for Christian to get out of occupational therapy. We were 15 minutes late, classic us. I find that I have the most time right now while I'm waiting for therapy to end. So I thought I would pick up the camera and just talk to you guys. Uh, the one thing that I have heavy on my mind right now is um, aggression and escaping. So those are two behaviors that Christian is showing a lot of right now. Um, as you guys know, I just had a newborn baby. He is seven weeks old. There's a lot of changes going on. I knew that it would affect Christian, but I didn't know how it would present itself. So sometimes we'll have potty regressions, which have happened. We'll have aggression. Um, we'll have um, attention seeking behaviors. Like all of these things do mean something. Christian is um, nonverbal. He doesn't talk. Is this weekend? I think it was Sunday. We went to get some toys that you guys saw for donation. Um, some sensory toys at a store. Um, he was perfectly fine and then all of a sudden he wasn't. Um, as soon as we got out of the car, he started doing his leg twitching, which is one of his signs of either pain or um, annoyance, frustration. And then he started getting vocal. We have to find what's going on. It's kind of like figuring out what's going on and what's causing it to try to help him or to get him out of that situation. So first thing that we think about when he gets like this is does he have to go potty? So once he started escalating even more, I was like, I'm just gonna take him to the bathroom. We left that store to go to Best Buy and he he went potty, but he freaked out afterwards still. So we're at Best Buy, it's busy. So there's a bunch of people. He comes out of the bathroom. He's doing his little leg bend thing. Um, he is literally up to here. He's a big kid now. He's seven years old and he is big. You know, you guys know, you guys have seen him. He wears size 16, like he's a, he's a big kid. So, he, it's different I feel like now and this is part is partly what I've been thinking about recently it's different how people are perceiving him now um, before when he was having his tantrums because I will call it a tantrum and not a meltdown because as soon as we leave the store or as soon as I give him what he wants like he calms down so it's if he wasn't overwhelmed per se I think he just didn't want to be in the stores um, and it could have had a sensory aspect to it but the behaviors were gone as soon as we went to the car um so i don't want to call it a it it kind of sucks that i want that i have to call it a tantrum because it sounds bad because i also want to call it a sensory moment because he didn't want to be in there for a reason i'm sure but the way that he communicates it is not okay and i tell him that so he started yelling started crying started doing his um uncomfortable dance and people are staring looking at me like i'm kidnapping my own son and throughout this whole thing one of the things that i will say um and i want to kind of like give you guys some tips because i have parents that ask me at times what what can they do to help with when there's aggression with their kids and you know you have to find the reason for it um i wasn't sure what the reason was so i i, I kind of go down a list so he just went potty and he's still being like this all right so let's get out of this environment so as we're walking and he's you know yelling out and 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 doing what he's doing i don't i don't engage in it i honestly try to keep a calm composure i just talk to him throughout it if if he seems like he's getting more agitated then i just stay quiet and i guide him gently away from the store which is what i did this time as his mom i feel like i i question everything that i do with him because i don't want to treat him like a baby but i also don't want to talk to him like he's a grown man and understands everything because he doesn't understand everything i want to keep a calm body myself and i want to tell him to keep a calm body but then i think about it and like if somebody tells me calm down like what would i like that so there's always a second guessing piece to what i'm doing while i'm parenting him but it sucks when things get like that and that's just one part of it like escaping environments and the way that he reacts to certain places i don't know if it's because of like you know with lockdown we just weren't going to as many places with him that he just feels uh overwhelmed with with certain situations but i want him to have a way to tell me like hey i'm all done i need to go you know so as i'm talking to him i i i, I use my signs and i use my voice to be like hey if you're all done you can say all done you know if you need to go we can go you know i try to use as many words as i can to hopefully at one point make it click you know like i can i can't tell my mom that i need to go i don't have to stay here you know because we don't if he doesn't want to be in the store we can leave um another part of this is aggression which we've seen a big increase in recently with christian it's it's escalated to the point where i'm worried and his team is kind of worried because there's always been his biting you guys know his biting um but now it's come to the point where he bites and he hits his head himself it's like a new it's like a new stem in a way but it's, i think it's not i think it's more like an aggressive behavior 
Um, other, uh, if, he, if he doesn't hit his head with his hand, he will um, bite and, and, and tap on his, on his hand, which that one is a little bit better than hitting his head. It just worries me that it's going to escalate to like head banging on the wall or, or other things, God forbid. That's scary. You know, like biting is one thing, doing more aggressive behaviors towards yourself is another. And then if it escalates to others, it's even worse. He's tolerating gloves well now, so whenever he is seeming escalated where he's biting himself non-stop, we do put the glove on him, um, at least in the therapy center, not at home yet. I'm looking to get one at home, and that seems to help. Um, when he is hitting himself, we just redirect it. So the thing with aggressive behaviors is you kind of have to figure out why it's happening, um, and it's hard to figure out sometimes. So it could be uh, for attention. You know, I don't think a lot of kids do it for attention, but it could be for attention. Let's say they bite themselves and you weren't giving them any attention and now you're like looking at them and being like no don't bite yourself you can't do this even good or bad bad attention is attention so sometimes kids will do that um what you would want to do for that is just ignore it and redirect it as as much as possible so if he is biting himself just gently remove his hand from there and give him maybe a fidget toy um but don't acknowledge it um but when it's sensory like what i think is for my son um it's very hard because there isn't much that can replace that feeling that he's seeking when it's of biting himself the chewy doesn't seem to help anymore he's not really interested in it um how do i how do i redirect the hitting you know himself i feel like maybe the drum might be something that i could redirect but is that practical you know so i want to tell you guys some of the things that i have found helpful when christian is displaying some aggression or when he's trying to you know protest certain things that we're doing um one of the things that is really helpful for aggression is just redirecting um that is especially the case for when it is sensitive related um, if it's escape reasons if it is to get your attention then those things are different but for sensory trying to find something that is giving him giving them the same feeling that they're getting when they're being aggressive so Christian biting I would say a chewy um, Christian when he hits himself I'm thinking I'm gonna get a drum um, something to have him like hit the same feeling he likes to hit the table the wood table so if he is showing those aggressions and I don't have anything else I I could redirect his hands to hit the table that, that's in our kitchen that's wood he likes that feeling he's done it before so that could be something that i can redirect him to um when it's attention seeking honestly it's just not giving it attention if he is looking at you looking for your reaction trying to see like how you react to him hitting others or hitting you or like flinging him to himself to the floor if, he, if if you see that they're trying to get your attention honestly the best thing to do is not give them that attention um give them attention for everything else that they're doing that is appropriate in that situation so if you have them sitting calm if if you have them working and they start lunging out at you and doing all these other things just waiting them out and giving them space and when they are calm and when they finally sit down even if it's for a second giving them that praise for something that they're doing good um, giving them attention for that instead of the attention for the negative behavior because if we're always giving them attention for the biting for the hitting for the lashing out they know that that's what that's for sure going to give them um, what they're looking for um, for escape honestly just giving my son's Base has been very helpful um, so when he is showing that he's protesting a lot crying not wanting to do something I just try to model the appropriate behavior like oh you look like you need a break you can always ask for a break uh, modeling it maybe having him do it with you um, using their words appropriately I'm um, using a peck if they're in like a picture exchange um, system in that moment anything that is appropriate behavior versus the aggression or, or yelling or anything like that we're always seeking to show them the 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 way that we want them to really properly express their, their feelings because they do need to express their feelings we're not saying to not express them it's just there's certain ways that that are appropriate that won't hurt him or others um if that makes sense um and i know that every kid is different i know that and some things might not work or some things work for a little bit and then they stop um that's the case for Christian a lot of the times right now when he's very escalated the chewy doesn't help him um instead of chewy we're we're just kind of like blocking it at this point um just blocking and not giving it attention is one of the things that we've been doing a lot of um because at, at this time it seems like he's really is kind of like sensory and trying to get our attention when he's not having a good time so I hope that these help. Let me know if there's other ones that you guys have tried that you have found helpful when it comes to aggression and protest, 
protesting things that they don't want to do. Um, I think that that's something that's very common. And for Christian, I don't think that he wants to hurt himself or others. I think that a lot of times that's just the way that he knows how to communicate that he's not happy and um, sensory. I think it has to do with sensory as well. <sighs> That was a lot of talking. I'm sorry if you guys have made it this far. Thank you guys for watching. Please let me know if you guys are dealing with something similar. Um, I want to have a conversation on the comment section, what has worked for you guys. And yeah, thank you guys. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.